why tall buildings? Really just because of you. I believe that everyone wants to be at the top of every building, so uh, it's uh, height, you get the view corridor, certainly in a place like downtown Miami. This idea of tall towers, it's not a new one. We've seen this for the better part of a century, but this idea of tall luxury residential towers, towers that are essentially reaching new heights with owners living at the 90th floor, this is a relatively new trend. And we're actually seeing this in cities across the globe right now. Here in New York, for example, we saw the Geary building open up 76 stories downtown. I actually had the developers tell me that in the penthouse suites, you would see snow, whereas on the lower floors, you'd see rain. So this idea of extra tall living, we see 432 Park Avenue, which is in the works for the next couple of years. The estimated height on that is 1,400 feet. We have 157 just down the street from there, 90 plus stories. Dallas recently opened Museum Tower. In Chicago, you have the Trump Tower, which actually the penthouse there is listed for $32 million right now. In Miami, there's several projects. In Tel Aviv, there's a project. Moscow, I'm hearing about projects. In London, there's the Shard. Even on the West Coast, we're starting to see development get increasingly taller. The Ritz-Carlton residences at LA Live is a great example of that. Really in any, any um, uh, buying profile as you go up in the building, obviously apartments get more expensive. The same apartment's more expensive on a higher floor. And that's, so we're trying to get as much of that space out of the base that has no view, that's locked in and has no view corridor and move it up to the top of the building where it has more value and is more luxurious space. That's kind of part of the the program of building a more luxurious product.